Welcome back to another video of techmarketer.io. Today I'm going to show you how you can build such a timer into an email that you send out via your email program. Now I will be using ActiveCampaign as a email tool of my choice, but this will work for other email software such as MailChimp, Infusionsoft, HubSpot or Drip. You just need to make sure that you are able to insert a custom HTML block into your email. Now this is possible with most of the email tools out there. So how do you do this? We will use a website called centric.com, which is a free email countdown timer that you can install. All you need to do is put in your email address and then you can choose the date like tomorrow at 4 p.m. And you can choose the language. This is all about the days, hours, and minutes down here. You can choose the background and the numbers. And then all you need to do is agree to the terms of service and generate your code. Now this code can then be used and copied to use in your email custom HTML block. And save that. And as you see, we have imported our timer right here. Now this will count down to your time that you have specified in centric.com right here. If you want to have a little bit more comprehensive view of this, I've actually built a little bit of a spreadsheet that can calculate the time for you. This is particularly helpful when it comes to time zones. So for example, I always have my email system running on UTC time. So I always know that this is the time we can send out emails. But in order to calculate it, I might need to calculate the time in a time zone converter and then input it into Centric. So I've built this little spreadsheet that will do this automatically for me. All you need to do is um, choose your hour that you want your timer to end. You choose your minutes and then you can input your time zone right here. So for example, say we are in Brazil and it will give you the right time stand back, the right URL of that image, but also the right HTML that you can then again use and input into your custom HTML blog. So it will be displayed in your email. So if you want to check that out, you can head over to techmarketer.io slash email timer and make a copy of the spreadsheet yourself. So this is basically already how you can implement a countdown timer into your emails with the help of centric.com and this spreadsheet if you choose so. One bonus tip I want to give you, which we often use, is if you are able to use automations in your email marketing software and you are actually sending out multiple emails that all should have a countdown timer, you would obviously need to go through all these emails and implement the countdown timer again and again. Now, there's a little trick that you can use. First, you would need to have a custom form field, so an active campaign. We can make a form field, a managed field here, and go to new custom form field. This can be a hidden field. And I'm gonna call this timestamp, all right? And now all I need to do is go back into my automation right here. And then I can tell the automation to, at the beginning, change my contact field, update the contact, we want to update our timestamp field to new content. And what do we put in here? Well, the timestamp that was actually calculated in the sheet. So for example, we can take our output timestamp right here and put it here. And now we'll be able to actually use this timestamp in our emails. So let's go head back into our email. And here we're gonna change, instead of having this timestamp in here, we'll put in a personalization tag and this is different for every software out there but in our case we would just put in the name of the custom field which is timestamp and this will then be automatically replaced with whatever is in the timestamp of the actual contact so if you save this we will get an error here that the image is not viewable which is true but if we send a contact through our automation let me activate this automation, go into our contacts, look at our demo contact and add him 
to the automation. Now you'll be added and send out these emails. This might take a while. But here we see now our email and when we display the images, we have our timer as expected in here. And it's a timer that was automatically updated by our automation. So the user went through this and the contact field, the um, timestamp field was updated with this timestamp and the email was sent out. Now I could go ahead and build this timer into the email number two, email number three, exactly with the same personalization tag. So the timer would be updated throughout all these three emails. Now, the big advantage to that is if I ever wanted to change the timer because the time is up or I have another campaign running, then I can just go ahead and update only one field right here, the um, content uh, timestamp field, and it would be updated and the timer would be updated in all of these sequential automation emails. So I hope that was useful to you to implement a timer into your automation or other campaign emails that you have running on your email tool. Now, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, then consider subscribing to this channel because we'll bring you new videos every week. My name is Julian, till next time.